On today's video, we're going to clean up a bluegill. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And like I said earlier, we're going to clean up a bluegill, or flay a bluegill. Alright, now if you've seen some of my other uh, fish cleaning videos, uh, you know a few of the things that I like to do, right? When I'm cleaning panfish, I like to have a flay board, okay? Um, panfish are kind of small, they kind of squirt around sometimes on the cutting board or the cutting table, and you know, having the good clamp with the flay board works pretty good, especially doing the smaller fish. The bigger fish, nah, they kind of hold their place pretty good. They don't slide around as much. So I really only use this fillet board when I'm doing smaller fish. Okay, next thing you need is sharp knife or two, but you definitely need a sharp knife, okay? Now, this is a sharp knife, but this would not be a good idea for filleting a bluegill, okay? All right, so we're kind of clear on that. It's good to have an actual fillet knife, okay? And the reason you like to have a fillet knife when you're doing fish, you like to have a little flexibility in it, okay? You know, it kind of becomes an extension of your hand, you know, you're kind of working in and around bones. You want to feel those bones. You want to have a little bit of flexibility, you know, when you're skinning out the fish, okay? So you want to have a little bend to that blade, and that's kind of, uh, you know, one of the advantages of a fillet knife when you're actually cleaning fish. And again, make sure it's very sharp. It's just going to make life a lot easier for you if it's sharp. All right, and another thing that I do sometimes when I'm cleaning fish, I'll put on some of these uh, these cotton gloves. I don't know, it, it works out pretty good. Sometimes if the fish are really cold, if it's in the fall or, or in the winter, it's nice to have these, you know, I use these when I'm cutting deer. Um, and, and even when it's warm out, I'll use them sometimes too. Um, you know, they, they grip the fish pretty good, uh, kind of saves a little wear and tear on your hands. So sometimes I do like to use the gloves when I'm cleaning fish. Okay, all right. Well, real quick, we're gonna run through a bluegill, and like I say, thought I'd share it with you guys. These dudes, put them into the clamp, like that. All right, okay, good sharp knife. First thing, we'll get under this fin here, okay? And you know, of course the scales, they kind of angle back, right? So if you kind of angle like this, you, it helps to get underneath them. You're not so much cutting uh, into the scales is kind of getting between them and up into the fish. Okay, and we're just going to kind of make that cut. Now we're going to start here and we're going to work our way back. And we're only going to go in as far as the ribs are, which is which is right around in here. We're going to get across till we get past the bung hole. Then we're going to put the knife all the way through and hug the spine back. All right, so here we go. Just kind of going along here just in just a little bit just to kind of get started get past the bung hole then we can go all the way across and then we'll just kind of angle the knife and we'll work our way down like that okay now I'm gonna get down in here okay and we're just going to work our way along and we're gonna come to the ribs and we're gonna go up and over the ribs okay now you are gonna come in to some little pin bones and you're gonna cut through those okay but the ribs themselves which are right there we're gonna go up and over we're gonna try and hug them you know as much as we can of course you know to keep as much meat as we can alright and we're just working our way along the edge of these ribs alright Just like that. Okay, now there's a little bit of belly fat down here. That's kind of tough, doesn't taste very good, 
you know, right along there. So we really don't want to keep that so much. You know, that belly fat is tough, not very good. There we go. That's a nice little side of bluegill. Okay, now we're going to turn this guy over. All right, spin the board around, and it'll be the same thing on this side. All right, we'll get under this fin, kind of angle in underneath the scales. All right, and then we're just going to work our way back. Okay. Get to about this point, we're past the bung hole, we'll go all the way across. Little angle down with our knife, ride right along that spine, and right out the back. And you know what? If you split that tail, that means you're hugging it real good. Okay. Alright. So then we're going to open it up like this, and do the same thing. Just get into those ribs. Ribs are starting right there. And just kind of going up and over them. Right along the top of the ribs and we're working our way back. Alright, and like I said we don't really need that belly meat, it's kind of tough. So there we go, there's another side of bluegill right there. And now this guy, we are done with him. Then, next thing we're going to do is get them out of their skins, okay? Alright, I'm just going to use this smaller knife for as a placeholder, okay? Just to kind of hold that tail in place. And it's good to be on the edge of your cutting board or cutting table. That way you can get this knife down nice and flat, you know, as you're shucking this out of its skin. So you get hold of it, get started, and then I usually just kind of grab it with my fingers and then just take your time, okay, just a, a, a slight angle down, but you don't want to cut through the skin, okay, just nice, easy, back and forth, keeping a little bit of pressure, a little bit of angle down, and you just want to work your way right like that, okay, and there, we shuck that dude right out of its skin, okay. Now, the only thing left on this is that row of pin bones that we had cut through. And they're right there, okay? You can hear them. Basically you follow this line from the back of the tail right about in the middle and they're right along that line. But they only go about this far back. They're kind of associated with the ribs, okay? So all we're going to do is just cut on either side of them. Alright. Just cut on either side of them. And then we're just going to cut that right out. This has just got those pin bones in it, this piece of meat full of pin bones. Don't need that. What we got here is a nice boneless piece of bluegill, and it's going to taste fantastic. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get the other one just for good measure. Okay. Grab it with the one knife. Get a hold of it with my fingers now. Nice and easy. You know, take your time with this. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just take your time. Angle that knife down. Just a little bit. Okay. And there. We got that meat right out of that skin. Okay. And you guys remember what's next, right? The other side middle of the tail there's that one line that runs right through the middle of the fish kinda and there's those uh, those pin bones okay you might even be able to see them right along that line there okay so we're just gonna go on either side of them again just like that okay and only to about that far back that's just full of pin bones and this has no bones in it nice piece of boneless bluegill all right all right guys well we got that one bluegill done I thought I'd show you uh, how I do that but uh, I got a few more to do okay so I better get going here 
But uh, anyways, guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. It's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless. Good job done.